let's take a little trip down memory lane and go through Tom Brady's five best playoff comebacks. Obviously, the one against the Jaguars was really nice. Ten points down in the fourth quarter, coming all the way back from struggling in the first half. It's a good one. Didn't make our list. Actually, it didn't, and we're going to start with one of my favorite Patriots games all time when Tom Brady led two scoring drives in the fourth quarter to take down the Chargers super team of Phillip Rivers, LaDainian Tomlinson, and Antonio Gates. If you remember the LaDainian Tomlinson season from that year, he scored 28 touchdowns in the regular season, one of the greatest running back seasons of all time. They were up against the Patriots 21-12 to in the fourth quarter, but... As we know, Tom Brady led those two historic drives. He did throw a pick in the fourth quarter, but Troy Brown causes a fumble. The guy fumbles the ball. The Patriots get the ball back, go down, and get a touchdown. One of my favorite games just because it wasn't one of Tom Brady's best games, but that fourth quarter drive was fantastic. And one more thing before we move on. Let's just all look at Tom Brady's top two receiving options from that game. Throwback to Jabbar Gaffney and Rache Caldwell as the top options on the Patriots offense. What a crazy year that was for the Pats. Obviously, it didn't go too well in the next round, but one of the one of more my favorite Patriots games of all time that's kind of forgotten about, so I'm happy to see it make our list. Let's get into our next one. One of the better games that I think Tom Brady has ever come back in. The game in 2014 against the Baltimore Ravens. The Patriots were down 14 points twice in this one. First, it was 14 to nothing, and then it was 28 to 14. But it did not matter because Tom Brady was amazing in the second half. I remember this play against Brandon LaFell. I was screaming to my dad, Brandon LaFell on single coverage on the outside. Brandon LaFell on single coverage on the outside. Tom Brady and I apparently share brains. He saw two and threw a strike. Brandon LaFell actually caught that ball one-handed. So pretty incredible highlight there. 35-31, the Patriots take down the Ravens to move on to the AFC Championship game where they would obviously move on to the Super Bowl. They smoked, I believe it was the Colts in that AFC Championship game. It was, it was a pretty nasty beatdown, but Gronk was great in that one. Amendola, as usual, Danny playoff. Amendola was fantastic in that game. So another great comeback for the Patriots. That's only number four on our list. We have three more to go. So let's get to number three. How about Tom Brady against the Legion of Boom? Down in the fourth quarter, and he throws two touchdowns against the Legion of Boom dissecting one of the best defenses statistically in the history of the NFL. I remember this game. You obviously remember from the Malcolm Butler interception. I don't think any of us will ever forget that play. But Amendola had one of the touchdowns. And then the Julian Edelman, Wes Welker, every slot receiver in the Patriots history has run that route and gotten a touchdown in the end, obviously, with Malcolm Butler, the interception. I remember if you watched that highlight a couple times, Brady screaming like, I think we can all say screaming like a girl on the sidelines. I was screaming like that too. I'm sure you were too if you were watching this as a Patriots fan out there. Pretty incredible game. I will never forget this one. Just with how great Tom Brady was in the fourth quarter. To take down the Seahawks, especially after that whole weird Chris Matthews end of the first half calamity was not pretty in the first half, but the second half was a totally different story. Don't forget about Tom Brady dissecting the Legion of Boom. Did I remind you that Tom Brady took down the Legion of Boom? Oh, yeah, Tom Brady dissected the Legion of Boom. It was a pretty fantastic one. So those are our top three to go for the 2014 Divisional Round against the Ravens, the 2006 Divisional Round against the Chargers, and the Super Bowl against the Seahawks that have started our current dynasty of winning two of the last three Super Bowls, hopefully our third and fourth year. Coming up in the next couple weeks, let's get into number two probably the most iconic single game in Patriots history. The first Super Bowl that Tom Brady won with the Patriots. They took down the best show on turf, Ty Law with the incredible pick six. But the highlight of this game was the drive that Tom Brady led with a minute and a half left in the game. I'll never forget it. John Madden sitting in his booth saying, they should kneel it here. What are they doing trying to go down and score? And Tom Brady shoved it in his face and led a beautiful field goal drive that set up Adam Venateri for the most important kick of his life, 45 yards, and it is good. The first Super Bowl in the New England Patriots history. Brady actually wasn't that great in that game. 16-27, 145 on a touchdown. The Rams actually had a great defense on the other side of that offense. It gets forgotten a lot because obviously the uh, best show on turf was a little bit difficult to overlook, but let's be honest, everyone. We'll never forget that fourth quarter comeback. We'll never forget that drive with a minute and a half left. And Adam Vinatieri, wherever you are, if you're watching this, you have a Hall of Fame voter right here. If Adam Vinatieri is not a Hall of Fame kicker, I, I give up. I don't know what a guy has to do to get into the Hall of Fame kicking two game-winning Super Bowl kicks. What are you going to do? Let's get into our number one comeback. 
And is there really any question at this point? Has to be Brady coming back down from 28 to 3. He had the pick six, his first ever pick six in his entire playoff history. And it didn't even matter. They were down 21 to 3 going to halftime. The Falcons scored another touchdown on the other side of the half to make it 28 to 3. And then with three minutes left in the third quarter, Brady turned it on. We all remember the insane catch from Julian Edelman in the middle of the field. We have our own Tyree catch finally. And then James White plowing into the end zone to give the Patriots the title. What an incredible game for this one. 34 to 20 was our final score. Tom Brady at 39 years old. I love pointing this out. Threw the ball 62 times. 62 times. Unbelievable for a 39-year-old quarterback. Will be unbelievable for a 30-year-old comeback to do that. And mind you, that was a really good Falcons defense. So one of the greatest comebacks in Patriot history, one of the greatest comebacks in football history, and one of the greatest comebacks in sports history in general. So which playoff comeback was your favorite? Give us a heart for 28-3. to Give us a wow face for the Seahawks Super Bowl. Give me a laughing face for Brady's first versus the Rams. And give me a thumbs up for the Ravens in 2014. My favorite comeback, I mean, I, you kind of have to say 28-3, to but that Ravens comeback in 2014 will always hold a special place in my heart. It was just that incredible double pass from Julian Edelman to Danny Amendola. Gronk finally healthy in a playoff series where he could really dominate against a defense. One of the more special comebacks in my heart, but that 28-3. to He was down 28-3. to What an unbelievable comeback for Brady. What an unbelievable moment for the New England Patriots. But that's going to do it for me. Go follow me on Twitter at SportsScene. But this has been Patriots Report. Go follow us at Chat Sports. I'll see you next time.